Who is Peter Obi? Chief Peter Obi is the former governor, native of Anambra State. The state to those who live under the surface. We are more aggressive in developing the place and doing what is right. That's why I said we're not challenging their priorities and their values. We're not trying to bring peace and stability and order in the system. When you're bringing a change, it is difficult. Peter Obi is a businessman to the core. He has held several managerial positions in different firms and companies. And he was notably the youngest chairman of Fidelity Bank. That deserves a round of applause. To be a chairman of a bank is a big deal. Mr. Obi is credited with introducing fundamental changes in Nigerian politics and is remembered for the following achievements while in office. Exemplary commitment to reforms and development, building relationships between Anambra State and other countries, attracted big Fortune 500 companies like to Anambra State. Under him, Anambra State was rated the least indebted state in Nigeria by the Debt Management Office. Anambra was adjudged by the Federal Ministry of Works, the state with the best network of roads in the country. He reopened long closed schools and returned missionary schools to the original owners with a grant of 6 billion naira for their rehabilitation, distributing over 30,000 computers, internet access, Microsoft academies to over 500 schools. Anambra State students, for the first time, achieved first place nationwide in the 2013 WAEC and NECO Common Entrance Examinations. Before he became governor, no single health institution was accredited in the state. But under his administration, 10 schools of nursing, midwifery, and medical technology, as well as two hospitals, were accredited. When he became the governor of Anambra State, he brought his business acumen to the government for good governance. He created wealth, empowered his people, especially the youths. He invested government money in profitable business for the benefit of the people in his state. I being Bev, the biggest brewery in the world, the best facility they've done all over the world is the facility they built in Onicha. I invested an Ambrose State money in it. We own 10% of it. That 10% today is worth over 20 billion. He invested in the healthcare system, making healthcare affordable to every citizen of Anambra State. So we did what we needed to do. We built the we built teaching hospital. We have small um, medical centers in all the communities. Peter Obi is a rare, honest politician. After eight years of successful good governance, he handed over financially, economically, and indeed psychologically strong Anambra State to his predecessor, Governor Obiano. Peter Obi loves his people dearly and always think about their future. In his handover note, he wrote to Governor Obiano, and I quote, The greatest resource base in Anambra State is her human capital, more specifically her children. I urge you to focus on them and to protect, promote, and guarantee their security and future in all you will do as a governor. End of quote. Peter Obi, the man you can count on. When he was the governor, he served his people with all his heart. In an emergency, Peter Obi was always in the forefront. He loves his people and stands by them any day, anywhere, anytime, when some executive governors owe state workers their salaries for months. As the governor, Peter Obi paid all the workers their salaries, pensions, and gratuity arrears. Peter Obi strongly believes that our commonwealth, people's money, should be used judiciously. The governor built a house that is unbelievable, and they ask, they say, I used to have the money. Why didn't you build it before? Hey, what a minute. What are you telling us? And you're owing us salary. Even if he had the money before, he would have kept quiet. The rascality monster. My yes. name is Rabiu, Isiako Rabiu. I have a property development company and I own IRS Airlines. I'm glad when we talk about Nigeria, we refer to Chief Obafemi Awolo, T. 
Chief Azikwe, Amadou Bello, and so on and so forth. And if anybody asks you to refer to other leaders apart from them, I'm glad we can add one, Governor Peter Obi. Our able leader, role model, mentor, hero, Peter Obi. We have so many problems, ethics, morals, irresponsibility, fraud, across board. That is something we have to fight, but we have to have the right leadership in place to first do it. So how can these young people that are patriotic, educated, passionate about Nigeria come together and bring about the desired changes we need? Thank you, sir. Peter Obi believes that no nation can develop single-handedly without its people in diaspora. There's opportunities in Nigeria, my dear people. As for investment, I know you're worried about the country, you're worried about this. Let me tell you, the opportunity you have in Nigeria when it comes to investment is not anywhere in the world. No matter how sad you are, no matter how big your problem may be, when you listen to Peter Obi, you must laugh, I guarantee you. Because I have been given an award before, I said I will buy a table, I said no, no, no. If you want to give me an award, I don't mind if I don't have a table, I can stand outside. When the award will come, I come and take. But he said, so when he said no, I said I'll come. This hotel room cannot cost more than 200 naira dollars a night. I won't even pay if it's more, because I only want to sleep. And people come here and pay for $2,000 to sleep. If anybody takes $2,000 from me, I'll be awake, thinking they're selling my money. Why will I sleep? So don't tell me you're staying in a world of Australia, you're staying in this. A hey, hotel is a hotel. You only want to sleep and wake up in the morning. Peter Obi is a father to his children and a lover and a good husband to his beautiful wife, Margaret. Peter Obi is ever ready to make Nigeria work again. Pride makes us artificial. Chief. That's what they wrote, Chief, Peter Obi. <laughs> you don't want Chief? <laughs> All right, let's do it over again. Mr. How about honorable? Mr. <laughs> and humility makes us real. Peter O.B. is real. Let us all join hands together with him to make our country work again. Special thanks to eminent concerned Nigerians who came together from different political parties, background, but have a common goal. Nigeria must succeed. Thank you for your concern and genuine love for your country, Nigeria. Keep the good work going.